We're going to start the new lesson, and our new lesson is about the homogeneous system or system of homogeneous equation. So we have a, our general definition for the system of equation that we are having here. The function as b1, this is constant, b2 is constant, b3. This is our general definition for the system of equations. So this we have here, this ax, the matrix form, we write ax equal to b. What we do, we say, if we having here the value of b1 is equal to 0, value of b2 is equal to 0, and value of b3 is equal to 0. So we can write this system again now, this a11x plus a12y plus a13z equal to 0. So we having a21x, a22y plus a23z equal to 0. I am having a31x plus a32y plus a33z equal to 0. So we say this system is homogeneous system. The, ve the vector b is equal to 0, b1, b2, b equal to 0. Homogeneous mean it contains the variables. We are having this x, y, and z and we having all the coefficient, the other are zero. So we are going to solve this one, is called homogeneous system. So there are some interesting facts about that one. We want to see it first before we go further. Uh, for this system, we can write this one in, in the form of the matrix form A x equal to zero. So number one, there is one solution always present. The solution is x equal to 0, y equal to 0, and z equal to 0. And this solution we call trivial solution. Trivial solution. This is always present for homogeneous system. For any homogeneous system, we have the solution. The zero solution we say x equal to 0, y equal to 0, z equal to 0. Number two. So second property is is having non-trivial solutions if we find the determinant of the coefficient matrix A and this is equal to 0, then we say there exists, there exists uh, non-trivial solutions. And I will I'll give you the example for this one and I will show you how we can solve the system homogeneous equation. So we take an example as I explained that we solve this homogeneous system of equations as say the homogeneous, these constants are equal to zero. As always start the solution with the augmented matrix form. We write the coefficients, coefficient here is zero, two, two and four, and this is zero. One, zero, minus one and minus three. This is two, three, one and one, and minus two, one, three, minus two. We have done that we must have the leading entry in the beginning. So to get the leading entry, we are having R1, R2, so we do it like this one, that we replace R2 by R1. We interchange R1 and R2. So we'll get here the new equation. Uh, in this case, we're having the leading entry here is, uh, we get here one, we get here zero, we get here minus one, we get here minus three, and this is zero. That's my new R1. Now my, R, the, my R2 become R1, uh, two, R1 become R2, this is two, two, four, and zero, and then we have two, three, one, one, and zero, and then we have here minus two, one, three, minus two, and zero. One thing we, we can do here again, that we know that this is here is two, two, two. So what we do, this is we divide this R2, by multiply R2 by one by two. Then multiply by one by two, then we can have here one, we get here also one, and we get here two. So we're getting the leading entry also here. But now we need to make this one zero. This is R3, the starting value. We want to make this one zero. And we want to make this one zero as we have the strategy for the elimination. So we can do this one. Multiply this one by minus two, minus two R1 plus R3. Then here multiply by two, two R1 plus R4. So I can just write my new matrix. Number one is made the same. This is one, zero, minus one, minus three and zero. 
And my second row, already I changed. I get 0, 1, 1, 2, and 0. Make the operation on my for third row. Multiply first row by minus 2. Get here, minus 2, 0, 2, 6, and 0. And then we add the third equation. That here is 2, 3, 1, 1, and 0. We add it. We get here 0. We get here 3. We get here 3 get here 7 and get here 0. So I replace this one by new row 3 will be 0, 3, 3, 7 and 0. Now my next one is the last row. I multiply here by 2. I get here 2, 0, minus 2, minus 6 and 0. And my R3, my R3 is minus 2, 1, 3, uh, minus 2 and 0. We add it. We get here 0, we get here 1, we get here 1, we get minus 8 and 0. So I can write this one as 0, 1, 1, minus 8 and 0. This is my R4. So we can see here, I having here this leading entry is my 1. I want to make this one 0. I want to make this one 0. So the row, row operation I am going to do for this one. I multiply by minus 3, minus 3 R2 plus R3. And then multiply by minus 1, minus 1, R2, plus R4. So we can see that the new equation we're going to get. We just uh, have the, we make the place for this one to write it. And we rewrite our equations. So number 1, number 2, we'll be not going to change, we remain the same. We are having here row 1. My row 1 is 1, 0, minus 1 minus 3, I'm having here 0. My row 2 is 0, 1, 1, 2, and 0. So my next row, I multiply by minus 3. So get here minus 3, my 0, minus 3, minus 3, minus 6, and 0. I add the uh, third row 0, 3, 3, 7, and 0. We add them, we get here 0, we get here 0, we get here 0, we get here 1, and 0. So I write here 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0. So next is, I just multiply by minus 1. This here is 0, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, and 0. My last row is 0, 1, and 1, and minus 8, and 0. We just see it, we get here 0, 0, 0, minus 10, and 0. So I can write this one as 0, 0, 0, minus 10, and 0. So I make the row operation. I try to reduce this one to reduce row echelon form. To reduce row echelon form, this is my leading entry. The below all the values are 0. This is my leading entry above and below the values are 0. This is my leading entry. I want to make the odd values here are equal to 0. To do this, this one, I say this is my leading one. That's uh, going to, we are going to use that one. This is my leading one. And I want to make this one 0, I want to make this one 0, I want to make this one 0. So my operations will be 3 R3 plus R1 to make this one 0, minus 2 R3 plus R2 to make this one 0. We're having 10 R3 plus R4 to make this one 0. So we can see there is no effect on other values because they are equal to zero. So simply, we are going to get the values uh, change by making this row operation. We just have, we can write immediately the values of this one that we are having here. The new uh, matrix, argument matrix is here 1, 0, minus 1. Multiply by 3, 3 plus 3 will be 0, and 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. The second one, we remain the same. We'll multiply here by minus 2, add to this one, get here 0, 1, 1, 0, and 0. Then this third row is our main row, which is on we have the operation on that one. And then the last row, multiply by 10, we get here 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. So this is my new uh, equations I will get. I rewrite this one in the form of a equation. So now this is standing for my W, this one, the first one. Let's turn for W. This row, this car, the first column. This stand for X. This stand for Y. And this first Z. So I'll get here W minus Y 
equal to zero. Then I having here x plus y is equal to zero. And I having z equal to zero. Now we can say this these entries one, this one, and this one we say they're leading entries. So I can write here my leading entries, my leading ones, my leading ones are place of w, place of x, and place of z. So I having one entry, this is a free entry. So my free entry is which is not containing anyone, and that's my y. So I have the free entry, free variable, a free entry, a leading variable, a leading entry, free variable is y. So y can have any value. Say so y is equal to t. So when I take y equal to t, I get the value of w, w is equal to y, so it become w is equal to y, so w is equal to t. Here x equal to minus y, so x equal to minus y, and minus y is t, so get minus t. Now having the value of y, y is equal to t, and the value of z, z equal to 0, we say my t is any real number. So each value of t, We'll have this my solution and we're having many solutions and for each value of t uh, we can have the solution for that one we can just choose because t is any real number we have said the chi t is any real number it can be but not zero t is not equal to zero we get the non-trivial solution if we write here this is find the solution of the linear equation then t can be zero we say non-trivial solution then we say t is not equal to zero so here if we say solution then we can have t equal to 0. We we'll say non-trivial solution, t is, because when t is equal to 0, they are, are equal to 0. The example for this one, I can take t equal to 1. So my solution will be w is equal to 1, x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 1, and z equal to 0. Similarly, I can have here t equal to 2. So get here w equal to 2, x equal to minus 2, y equal to 2, and z equal to 0 and so on. So in this case we say we have many solutions and this is the idea for solving the system of equation which are the homogeneous form. Again I repeat homogeneous form means that all the values are equal to 0. So again I would say as in the last example I said we have many questions about the homogeneous system of equation, uh, system of equation linear system. You can have these uh, uh, problems there. You can just take the more practice by solving the problem.